Hi, I'm Robert Klein, and this is the Art of Fighting. Bang. In today's show, I'm with Antonio Graceffo, aka the monk from Brooklyn, who is an author, a linguistic scholar, and a Southeast Asian martial arts ethnographer who is taking us deeper into the world of Muay Thai Chaya. This time I got my mouthpiece. Does <laughs> help? I hope so. Well, I won't get broken too. We are both intrigued by the uniqueness and the effectiveness of this martial art. So much so that Antonio has begun formally studying it. Its hard to see and super hard hitting low kick serve as both defense and offense against the punch. Because they've got this, this tremendous distance when they're kicking, I'm trying to punch him in the face and I can't because his head disappears completely from view when he's kicking. His head's going down and away. So even if I'm willing to eat one, to get one, I can't do it because there's nothing to hit. Anytime I punch, he's going to get out of the way and kick me, right? And it's going to hurt like hell. If he hits the guy and he's woozy, right, he's going to go in for the knockout. If he's not, go back and do the yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you punch me, I kick your leg, yeah. I kick your leg. Yeah. I turn my face, I turn, I kick your leg, bang. Yeah. I touch your leg, bang. You cannot touch me. Moichaya is the quintessential counter-striker martial art. Its head defense and head strikes are seamlessly interwoven. Every defensive move seems to slide effortlessly into an offensive counter-strike. Oh. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> that would that would have got my throat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I've been doing these exercises, they all make sense, and it looks to me like you do the exercises 85 million times, then you start fighting, because it's not Muay Thai. I haven't even started kicking the bag yet, and I see, if I knew how to do the exercise better, I would have probably rotated out of the way of that kick. In Muay Thai, the front leg low kick is hardly used because it is difficult to generate enough power. To do so, generally requires taking a step and then launching the kick, which makes it a bit slow. This is because in Muay Thai, kicks gain power from spinning the leg and body around the axis only. In Muay Thai Chaya, power is generated not only by spinning, but also simultaneously seesawing along the axis as well. Seesaw, seesaw. Muay Thai front kick is not very useful. Muay Thai front kick hurts like hell. This is where you do a lot of your damage from this front kick. The Muay Thai Chaya front low kick is so fast that even instructors have a hard time defending against it, as we see in this sparring. So I've been, uh, been here a couple of weeks, been sparring a number of times with some of the best guys. Basically, they can all work my legs to a point. Last night was the worst. Last night, at the end of one round, I was sure that if we had tried the second round, I was going to be crippled. In Muay Thai Chaya, you not only swing your leg around, you also throw your head back to cause a super rapid shift of body weight along the axis. Basically, you become a twisting seesaw. Because of this unique way of moving, Muay Thai Chaya kicks can generate a lot of power without requiring a big windup. Also in Muay Thai Chaya, you don't move your hands much while kicking, which eliminates a lot of the telegraphing. In short, they hit hard and they're difficult to see. When they're kicking, their foot is hooked instead of straight, so it becomes an extra weapon. When he's low kicking my leg, he's kind of catching it with that hook and he's pulling it at the same time. How long do you think you could last on a full attack of low kick, somebody really going after you hard? These kicks are all in the, just above the knee and on, on, on the side of the knee. And um, you can't take, I mean, it could be one. One might take you out. One, one might, might end the fight. Got this the first weekend. I was training with Day. Day kicked me here. I think we got that on film. Got that on film. That is the famous film kick. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Tai Chaya offers a myriad of defensive offensive combinations. Here, Tay slips Antonio's kick, spins out, and counters with a low kick of his own. 
My two favorite involve very painful elbow blocks followed by some other kind of counter strike. The elbow block to your leg would cripple your leg and the second strike would pretty much just finish you. So ideally, you want to catch the elbow and the thigh muscle, right? And then once that leg's crippled, you come down and you break this other leg. Here, Tay blocks a knee with his elbow and spins around with his other elbow to hit Antonio on the head. This is not only really weird, he does it unbelievably fast. With him, it would work. Harry does it while actually sparring. This was your ever so brief introduction to what I think is one of the world's truly interesting martial arts. I hope to look into it more and I hope you'll come with me. We would like to give a special thanks to Crew Lek and to senior instructors Tay and Ott for the incredible amount of time and energy they devoted to making this show possible. I'm your host, Robert Klein, with special guest host Antonio Graceffo, and we're part of the Art of Fighting.